Uh, while if I can come to you from a, a main contracting point of view, how has construction changed? So we've heard from Bill the, the, some of the, the pressures on government cutbacks. Yeah. Um, uh, how, how does it look from the contractor's point of view? Uh, it's definitely difficult because it's more stringent. I mean, projects are coming. Uh, we involve in tenders. Uh, a lot of times the tender is not meeting the budget. It's a retender and e-tender, which additional cost. Uh, the project moves on. Uh, Sometimes, even while the project is moving, there's delays mm -hmm. in the continuation of the project, descoping, looking at it, variation, uh, introducing a lot of changes, which the management of that change cause further complication on the payment. Uh, every interim payment almost as a final account mm -hmm. uh, with, sus with substantiation. Uh, that delay in payment automatically aggravate the cash flow of the contractor, it's more affecting our subcontractor and our supply chain because they're on the receiving end from the main contractor. Uh, pain is transferred, as gain is transferred. Uh, as a result, we're seeing more in the supply chain. There is uh, companies who are cannot cope with the current economical situation due to their size and their capability to sustain shuts and negative cash flow. And as a result, it put more pressure on the main contractor. So the, the, the primary impact of the, or the primary change yeah. is this squeeze on cash flow. So it starts with the, at the top of the pyramid, yeah. th and the clients delay payments yeah. or um, main make changes or something, and that filters down. Correct. And what does that mean in terms of w the impact on the UAE or the GCC construction industry? Is it, are we going to lose talent? Yeah. Are we going to be not able to deliver projects? If it continues, it, it could come. Uh, since there's no boundaries in this market, there's always new people who are willing to come and start and supply and other different supply chains in it. Uh, is it going to reach to the point where you're not going to deliver projects? I don't believe so. Uh, I believe you'll find out more of the main contractor mm. will change and start doing vertical uh, commitment where we start picking up certain works which the subcontractor used to do and start doing it in-house instead of outsourcing it to control the quality, to con control the continuity of it so it doesn't affect your work. I mean, But doesn't that still require the cash? I mean, for the, if the main contractor is going to it pick up the It does require the cash. It's, it's, it does. I mean, indirectly, we end up in a number of projects financing the project until, uh, as I said, it's how do we manage the change, how do we can control it and get paid while the change is happening. That's okay. important because a lot of the client, because the way the contract is structured also, they prefer to address all the changes at the end of the mm -hmm. project, which means you're financing at least the change during the project until you reach an uh, agreement and then you can get paid and pass on such payment.